Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and today we're playing some Diablo the Roguelike again. Although I got a little surprise, a little treat, and although it's not like a, a huge release or anything, uh, I managed to talk to one of the developers. Uh, let's see, I, I think I can pronounce this, Melnikova Anastasia. Uh, hopefully I got that right. Um, I, I asked her about the whole sound problem, and she made a quick fix. It's on the forums if you want to take a look at it. But, uh, cut a long story short, the sound version works with enemies moving as they should. So, since I've already played the warrior and the sorcerer, I will finish the trio off with a rogue. And, uh, we will call this rogue, uh, Haley. Yeah. Sounds like fun. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so, I'm a rogue, and I use a bow. So, that's the fun part about being a rogue. Hello, my friend. So, we get, you know, everybody staying, saying, <laughs> saying their things, and I know blah, blah, blah. And legends that you know, crap like that. But we're not going to do, do that too much, um... Because that takes forever for them to get through, uh, and we've already—I've already been over this stuff in a previous video. Uh, and that aside, it's probably a lot more entertaining if you do it yourself. So let's just head on over to—and it looks like we don't have butcher, which is fine. Although really, a rogue is probably the best equipped to handle it because of the bow. But anyway, let's just head down. Okay, so, yeah. This is actually not the most favorable position, but uh, it works out. It, it does. But I mean, like, having the bow can make the game really easy. However, you can't shoot barrels with it, so you still have to you know, move up to barrels and smack them in the face. And it doesn't seem like there's any sort of penalty for using a ranged attack up close. At least there was never one that I ever knew of. Since it's always a projectile. And if you notice, the attack is really fast. It's really quite amazing. It's not a particularly powerful attack, but it is an attack, and it deals damage. So what do we got here? It's a little small axe, staff healing. Wow, three potions of mana, which I'm almost never going to use. Uh, you know, I'll probably get a healing book. Excuse me, a healing book. And leave it at that, really. Just not much else I need to take care of. Just Fight these guys and get moving. I mean, everything dies so quickly. I, I'm i not going to say that it's balanced. I have no idea if it is or not. It feels unbalanced, but... Uh, you know, as a matter of... In the game, you really had to, like... Worry about enemies... Dodging the attack pretty often. So... On the other hand, there's no harm in, in getting... Eh. I mean, what? It's not like enemies become physical immune, so... Yeah. So, we're moving along. Ha, <laughs> and I can, I, I can just... Fist that guy to death. Or, uh, punch. Whatever. I mean, what... what Melee... I guess... I think I recall rogues actually kicking. When they would do a melee attack, so... Uh... Yeah, that's always an interesting thing that they... that I don't know if it's just game developers, but... Uh, I mean, take uh, Street Fighter, for instance. Uh, the, the prominent female characters, whose names I don't exactly remember. I think one of them was called Chun-Li, and... Uh, there was another one that... Cammy, I think? Yeah, right, because she kind of like wore some kind of camo-like uh, stuff. Anyway, uh, they use kicks. Whereas, you know, like, the guys, you know, maybe they do kicks, but they did punches, too, and 
Huh. I always just found that kind of... Well, I guess it's just somewhat gender biased, but uh, that's like... I don't know. I mean, if anything, they would seem to be really smart to be using their legs when... when that's what they'd be good to use. It's fine by me. I got no qualms with it. So there's my book of healing. I can't carry anymore. Uh, let's just wear this, I guess. Yes, uh, short bow. How is my current bow looking? 26, yeah. Well, in any case, I can drop the, the crappy durability bow and use that instead. Well, I guess that's slightly better than that, so. We running around trying to figure out anymore. stuff. Ooh, we're going to hear that a lot, aren't we? Can't carry anymore. Uh, let's see. Um. Well, I really don't need the magic stuff. Just I'd rather have healing than than, than not. Uh, healing potions. Excuse me. I am just a bunch of nonsense today. Ow. Ow. Super ow. What if I can destroy doors? Uh this game won't won't. Uh, well, Doom RL, like, if you aim somewhere, and then you try to aim again, it stays in that spot. It's a, sort of a persistence targeting system. But it's not the same game, even <coughs> though I believe it uses the same engine. But, uh, you know, two very different stories. You need to actually implement those things. They're not just necessarily given to you. Now, what's my HP right now? 54. Yeah, I would survive another barrel hit. Unlike my wizard character, man, that dude would die from two barrels. Kind of funny when you think about it. Ooh, we got some magical armor. Ah, uh, and there's of course the matter of attacks just kind of getting stuck on obstacles. But, I mean, really, just being able to kill things from a distance is so many degrees better than not from a distance. Now, where would I put uh, this? Well, I don't know. I don't need the daggers. So, and that's just a buckler, which doesn't work with the bow. So, we ignore that, too. Now, where would I put this? Um, where would you put that? That's a good question. The rags are going to be crap, so let's just drop it. I'm going to try to finish this floor before I have to head back up. And I will simply edit out the going up. So, I'm better for you guys. I am actually learning how to make good videos, you know. And of course, in many ways, I could either edit out the early bits of games or completely, um, well, yes, I could just do that much rather than, uh, you know, suggest subjecting you to the early bits of games where there really isn't all that much going on. But uh, this depends on the, the game, really. Uh, I mean, let's take Mage Guild, which I just played. Um, that really seems to be just... You quickly get to, through the first you know, few floors. And they're not really that difficult. Uh, and then when I would hit the fourth floor, it's like, oh, holy crap, all of a sudden, now we got to deal with stuff. And that's when I'd turn the game on, or whatever. And I think that could work. Um... I don't know, let me know what you think, I guess. Did I use that potion of full healing? I think I used it. But at the same time... Oh! I guess they're going in my backpack. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Phew. I suppose one thing you have to worry about with the bow is that you don't kill things uh, in one hit just all the time. But you certainly kill a lot of things in one hit. I don't know. I guess I would have to say that uh, the boat. Ow, 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 ow. Ow? That was a lot of explosions. I think only one of them actually hit me, so, you know, I was saved that much trouble. Got some rags, got some potion of mana. Okay. Yeah, the, the Chaos Forge brand of games 
uh, a really, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I guess it would be uh, merciful <laughs> in terms of a roguelike. You know, and some roguelikes used to stand around for a couple turns accidentally and you'd simply die. Uh, it won't. It isn't until much later in a, in a game for, say, Doom RL or this game that uh, it, doing that will actually have that effect. So, yeah, I'm kind of thankful for that, I guess. Uh, how do I check to see what's in my... Uh, I mean, I can't mouse over it. That would be interesting, huh? But I have... I mean, I should be able to tell by color, but I'm not that good. I'm just going to guess there's scrolls of healing. and Well, let's test that, I guess. Nope, that was an identify scroll. Oh, now I see it. There's like this tiny light gray versus white difference. and My monitor screen brightness is a little down, so... Well, anyway, let's uh, use the cape. Cape of de Dexterity. That's actually useful for me. <clears throat> yeah. So, well, while we're at it, hold on. Let's let's go ahead and identify this one, the, the bow. So it's a crappy bow. So we just get rid of it, and then we don't have to worry about it. Can now I? Where no. would I put this? Okay. So where's the downstairs? Have I? No, I haven't explored quite everything. I guess, but I doubt there's much. Yeah. Only a tiny bit. Okay, so here are the stairs, and I'll be right back after, you know, cleaning out the inventory. On to floor two. Oh, wow, and all of a sudden we are completely surrounded by everything at the same time. Well, let's try to kill one of these guys, because that usually gives me a few turns. Wow, okay. Wow. That is going to be... Really difficult to deal with. Hold on, let's um, let's go buy some full healing potions, because that is going to be really difficult to deal with. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's the whole you know fountain looking like somebody peed in it deal. So um, scrolls of healing aren't really what I need. I need potions of full healing, basically. Yes. I would say the more message should probably be uh, whatever, but I would I would have the message when it says more. Just completely suppress that whenever you you're dealing with a shop situation because nobody wants to have to press enter for that. Oh crap! I forgot to receive healing from him. Yes, that's the most important thing. Dude is a free 150. You, know, you don't have to pay anything to get that. And it sounds like the healing sound <laughs> is missing. That's another thing to worry about, I guess. Okay, so now we come down here again and we get, like, killed instantly sort of thing. Wow, this is just nasty. You know what? Hold on. I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully not die, but I'll try to do this one at a time without... Because this will take forever if I have to keep going back for healing, so... I mean, it'd be one thing if... Wow. Okay, well, they didn't hit me that time. It'd be one thing if I didn't have to worry about the stupid uh, coming downstairs thing. But from the get-go, these guys were completely surrounding this area. I must admit, I am very worried about uh, leaving the steps, basically. Okay, Whew. Yeah, I mean, these guys take some, some real kills right now. Okay, cool, I leveled up. Hooray! Well, now that that's taken care of, that's like the hardest part of the whole game right there. Because <laughs> there is no butcher. I guess the other hard part will be dealing with people that, you know, shoot projectiles. So, let's just fight these guys. I could probably just hold down the F button. Pretty much. There we go. 
There's more of you. Are those just carvers? Yeah, those are just carvers. As opposed to Devilkin. Uh, no, as opposed to, I think, dark ones. Yeah. Those are light blue. Far more dangerous. In fact, we might be seeing some of those when we u do the water quest. So. Rejuvie potion. Ooh, a robe. Well, I'd prefer to wear the cape. Because it's got a dexterity cape. So. I mean, yeah, it's... I might as well just level up dexterity all this time. Because that's what gives me extra damage and more two hit. I mean, it's just the everything stat for rogues. And consequently, you know, I can I can go all the way to 255 dexterity with it on the rogue, so. Definitely abuse the heck out of it. So more healing book. Cool. Kill you, guy. Cool. Good. Killing you, guy. Yeah, it's, it's a great name for a, an evil mini-boss. Get straight to the point, right? Every time you kill anything, these guys just run for it. Now, this works perfectly for a rogue, because... You can just kill something that will make everybody go away. And it sucks for the warrior, because the warrior just has to go running off after everybody every single time. Kind of annoying. As I think you recall me mentioning when... Oh, there's a bow dude. Actually had to worry about him for a second. Not really, but, you know, sort of. Lots of gold here. Ooh, identify scroll. Might as well just use it. Ha, <laughs> rags of dexterity. Not quite as good as my cape of dexterity, though. Yeah, me thinks that this isn't gonna last very long. I mean, maybe two parts. Maybe two parts. Especially when I'm editing out stuff, you know. So, I mean, I can just outrun these guys. It's not even funny. It's amusing, though. It is, it is amusing. And, okay, so he had, he had what? He had the thinking cap. Oh my, well. It's kind of worthless on me, but, you know. That's cool, I guess. To get the thinking cap. Thinking cap's actually, well, like many uniques in this game, it's, it has a, you know, a, a downside to it. And in this game, or this unique in particular, the downside is it comes with, like, uh, how much is it? One durability, yeah. So, you know, if it gets hit even once, it's toast. But it increases spell level for all spells by two, and, uh, you know, it also gives you extra mana and cures cancer, you know. It's really, really good, uh, hat for magic users. And inevitably, in the, the original Diablo, and what would probably be if, you know, you had a nightmare game in this, and you could transfer the character over, um, well, I mean, this is basically an Iron Man run, so probably not, but, uh, you know, in that case, um, everybody eventually becomes more or less of a magic user. So, you know, that's why you gotta, okay, cool, Hunter Spell. Yeah, I do have to invest a little bit in strength, just so that I can use bows and stuff. Uh, but anyway, the thinking cap is something that everybody would want, more or less. Uh, I mean, there are some good caps, but you can get this one early in the game. Now, you know, you might be you might be asking yourself or me or whatever, but. GH, why would you ever try to wear something that would get killed instantly when you're trying to use it? And to that I say, you don't know all of the shrines in this game. Some of them actually raise a given piece of armor's durability at the cost of something, but that, that's not the important part. The point is that there is a way to increase its durability to become non-instant, uh, you know... Oops. Oh! Okay. That's the quick slot button. That was the, uh, that's the button to the left of all the numbers. 
It's a, you know, asterisk or tilde button. Huh. So yeah, I don't remember what the shrine is called, but there's a shrine that increases the durability of, I don't know, a random piece of equipment. But if you're smart about it, you'll just only equip the thinking cap when that happens. I have no room. What? No room? Well, we're going to change that. There we go. Wow, that's not bad at all. Fine Cloak of the Fox. I don't think the armor class thing does anything at all, but plus 13 life isn't, isn't anything to sneeze at. And I don't really feel like uh, improving my magic at this point, so I'm not going to worry about, uh, about any of those guys working with their sort of... Ooh, quilted armor. Nope, still don't need it. I must remember the tenets of the rogue, and that is to be never attacked ever, ever. Ah, there we go. Much better. Or attempt to be never attacked ever, ever. And if, if you're getting hit all over the place, you're doing something wrong. So, let's see. It's already been just 20 minutes. I guess I could turn this thing into two parts. I'm probably not quite done with this floor yet. But, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, here we go. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Kill all y'all. That's plural for y'all, by the way. Just look it up. I mean, it's it's weird, but... I, I didn't I thought y'all was plural and then I read all y'all and then my mind got blown uh, I don't know if I don't think any of the other bugs have been fixed but I mean if you notice the version number says point four point six so uh, where would I put this? You know, technically speaking it does kind of have a uh, a feel of maybe there are some things that are that have been taken care of since it was released. <laughs> Obviously, the sound part has been taken care of, because otherwise we wouldn't be playing it like this. But, um, Yeah, so... I mean, I'll try out the Skeleton King. I'll do a save beforehand just to check. Because if we could fight him, that'd be fun. You know, That'll be the first Skeleton King fight probably ever in Diablo RL. Or something. <laughs> Kill these guys... Get a scroll of town portal, I guess. Just to make it easy to go back and forth. Although in this game, it's it's really not a huge deal to be, you know, running back to town. Especially um, this this version where you can move really fast. And it's almost trivial to just you know walk your way there. In the original Diablo, you got like, you know, the dude can't even run. So. It is understandable that you'd want a town portal to get yourself where you need to go. Oh my god, it's an Arachnatron. I mean, I mean, a goat archer. Am I going to hit you or what? Let's try getting closer, I guess. Wow. That guy was actually kind of tough. Ooh, and the quest just finished because it made that noise of quest finishing. So now we get like some kind of ring or something. I forget exactly how it works. But we get that. And, uh... Yeah. You know, it's... Woohoo. <laughs> it's just, it's one of the easier quests, so it's not really a big deal to finish it. There are some more difficult quests, for sure. Skeleton King quest is actually kind of tough. Um, but, you know, it's... It's not the quest in this game, anyway. It's the, it's the battling and dealing with really tough situations. So, I'm going to go get the ring off screen, and I'll be back with part two. So, uh, you know, Game Hunter here playing some Diablo the Roguelike, and, you know, we'll finish up with part two next time. So, until then, keep playing your Roguelikes, and take care.